Good day. In this video, we are going to do the last two questions. That is question 5E and 5F of the 2024 Numeracy Term 3 exam papers. Uh, the type paper title is Apply Maths and Stats in a Range of Variety of Situations. In everyday situation, I mean. And the paper number is 32406. This is a unit standard. It's worth 10 level 1 credit. So it uh, means you, you will only get achieve or not achieve. There's no merit excellence in this paper. So to get your 10 credit, you must fulfill three outcomes, one, two, and three. Every question has a different outcome. So without further ado, let's do question 5E. Yeah, 5E is option two, and we shall read that, okay? So this is a straightforward question, and you need to use some common sense to be able to solve this, okay? So the only to make a box to hold one candle the box will look like that which net matches the shown above so if you look carefully you try and ever and try to make into this box the answer is look at part one okay so you look at part one again and try to fold it up and you can see that that will make exactly that shape so we will not go into detail because this is more a common sense type of question now we shall do four 5F, which is more calculation, and this is option number three. Okay, so calculation number, so we shall read this question. So, this is a market day special for scented candles. Okay, they were selling scented candles at six dollars each. You buy three and get 30% off. So, now we shall do calculation. So, Jules want to buy two candles as gift for her father and grandfather. Should Jules buy three candles with 30% off or two candles with for six dollars each. Explain your answer. So we shall do the calculation and we make the call there. Okay. So if you buy two candles, okay, it's going to cost Jules six dollars times two of candles that will give you twelve dollars. Okay. So we shall remember that number. If you buy three candles, you get a thirty percent off. So three candles original price is six dollars times three will be eighteen dollars. But you get thirty percent off. So thirty percent off means thirty percent off means you get 30 over 100 times $18 and that will give us $5.40. So you take the cost for three candles, it's going to be $18 minus $5.40 and the answer is going to be $12.60. So the question is, should you buy two or three candles? It all depends. Both answer is acceptable. If he buy two candles, three candles, then the third candle will only cost another 60 cents because two candles cost 12 dollars the third candle will cost 60 cents so i i would go for that okay so i would actually say that i will agree that you should buy three candles on the other hand if you buy two candles okay you only pay 12 dollars while you buy three candles it's 12 60 12 dollars is cheaper than 12 60 so you can argue the case that you should buy two candles. So both argument is all right. So make sure you know how to argue your case. And hopefully you have gone through all the questions from 1A to 5F and get as many of outcome 1, 2, 3 and see whether you can get a credit in this paper. Cheers everyone and have a great day.